Hey everybody, this is going to be the second week of June performance review for the Phoenix algorithm that I'll briefly uh, talk about the legacy algorithms as well. But like I said, this is for the, the 5th of June through the 11th of June. And before we jump in and look at the performance, let's go ahead and look at the risk disclaimer. All right, so feel free to pause this if, you, if you'd like to. But basically what this is saying is that I'm not a commodity trading advisor. Um, also, the trading features does involve substantial risk of loss. It's not appropriate for all investors. So just keep all that in mind. And of course, past performance is not indicative of future performance. All right, so for for the second week of June, um, we actually had a, a pretty good week. I, I gave the algorithms a B plus, and I'll, I'll kind of explain why. But basically, our the biggest highlight was that our 10-year note uh, finally exited the trade that it was in. So it had a really nice gain of $2,109. Now, for those of you that, that are following this, you, you might remember that we exited the trade um, a few weeks ago, but then jumped right back in. That was because of the rollover. So we had to roll over to the September contract. And so whenever that happens, all we do is we exit the current trade and then we get back in. But from the algo's point of view, that's that's not an official exit. And that's why if you look at the, the week review that I did uh, a few weeks ago when that rollover happened, I don't mention that we got out of that trade. I, I probably mentioned that we rolled over, but but we officially exited the trade today. And so, or I'm sorry, on, on a Thursday, I believe it was. Really nice gain. So that that's definitely a highlight. And considering that the S&P is hitting new highs, um, that's actually really good for us that our hedge actually was was up as well. So that, that'll happen on occasion. And when it does, it's, it's obviously really good for us. Um, the other algo that I'll talk about briefly is the um, the Fien or the day trade algo, the Phoenix day trade algo. That's the the bottom left chart here. We did have a losing trade on Thursday, so we got in on the gap up and then got stopped out of that trade. Now that uh, that that was not a fun trade to get stopped out of uh, because it it was a stop out of about eight hundred and fifty dollars, but. Um, as you know, this this algorithm will have some really good trades, and then on occasion it'll get stopped out like it did. So, it's it's really nothing that's that's out of the ordinary. Um, in the long run, the day trade has been one of the top performing algorithms since we went live with the Phoenix, and so it's certainly expected that we're going to have some some losses on that algo. But so that's the only one that didn't really do good. Um, considering the market was up a little bit, I would have liked to see that the day trade um, either have no trades or have uh, some kind of profitable trade or maybe a small loss. But um, the other algo though is the Momentum ES algo and that's this one on the right. And it's, as you know, this is our kind of main algorithm. It's sort of the bread and butter algo that, that we offer. Um, it actually had three winning trades and then didn't have any losing trades. And so this this was actually a really good week for that algo. The the three winning trades were all, um, one of them was a, about a, a four point gain. That's this one in the middle. The other two were a little bit more than that. And so um, so they ended up being actually uh, profitable for, for, for this week. And so it did really good. Um, but certainly if the market is going higher like it was, we would expect this algo to be profitable, and so um, so it, it really met what I would you know the expectations that I have for it. Um, so overall, if, if I were to, to break down these three tra or these three algorithms, you know, I'd, I'd probably give the ten-year note a one hundred percent because it obviously did amazing. I would give this momentum ES probably a, a ninety to one hundred percent because it was profitable. It did what it's supposed to do. Uh, the day trade is the one that I, you know, maybe I'd give it like a 70%. So if you average that all out, that's how you get to about the B plus. But overall, we were up about $985 for the week. And on a 20K account, that's about a 4.9% gain. So it was a good week, um, but it, it could have been better for sure if we didn't have that day trade. But but the fact that, you know, we, we put out, a, a, you know, positive returns is is good news and it's it's good uh to keep to keep pressing forward and and as of right now you know june is looking like it'll be a positive month so that's good this video is definitely shorter though because i i don't have any any other topic that i really want to discuss 
So I'm, I'm probably going to end it. But if you have any questions at all, feel free to email us at sales at algorithmictrading.net. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And looking forward to hopefully another positive week as we close the week out. And I guess real quick before I forget, if, if you are trading the swing trader, uh, the legacy algos, in essence, you, you had a, an, an even better week because you, you were up on the 10 year, the top left algo, and you were up on the momentum ES. On the day trade, since the swing trader doesn't trade that, you didn't take that loss. So, so your gain would have been this plus about another 800. So definitely swing trader would have done better. The wave trader, I believe, would have done better as well. Um, the pro trader would have done better, uh, mainly because its day trade gets gets out with a smaller stop. But this is normal, you guys. I mean, there, there will be times where the legacy algorithms outperform the Phoenix, and there'll be times when the Phoenix outperforms. I, I never advise people, well, obviously I can't give advice because I'm not a CTA, but I, I would never, um, you know, recommend to anyone is like common advice to to kind of jump around and, and follow whichever algorithm is doing the best. Um, I, I think you stick with whatever algo you you started with, and then um, and as long as as you feel comfortable with that, then that's that's the one that that I would stick with, as opposed to sort of jumping around and, and following whichever algo does better for any given week, because they they will at times one will do better than the other um but in this case the phoenix underperformed but it still had a great week and so um yeah so i think i'll close it there thanks again for watching and look forward to hopefully having another positive week as we enter into the third week of june thanks so much have a great day Bye bye